I, I believe the Prime Minister is on his way. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the Prime Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prime Minister of Singapore. Good afternoon, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, Mr. Lim Tzu Ping, Mr. Wun Tai Ho, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us today for the launch of the book and exhibition, Soul of Ink, Lim Tzu Ping at 100. We are indeed grateful for this opportunity together in person to celebrate the life and work of Mr. Lim Tzu Ping, Singapore's oldest living artist and an icon of the Singapore art scene as he celebrates his centenary year this year. Soul of Ink, Lim Tzu Ping at 100, the book published by World Scientific and authored by Mr. Wun Tai Ho, and the exhibition, curated by Mr. Lo Zhu Yi, pay tribute to Mr. Lim's remarkable artistic renaissance at 100. Without further ado, I would like to call upon Mr. Wun Tai Ho to say a few words. Mr. Woon. Prime Minister, Lin Ping, ladies and gentlemen. 10 o'clock in the morning, New Year's Eve. I received an email from the Prime Minister's office. I hope this finds you well. Happy New Year. PM accepts. When Lin Ping found out later, that the Prime Minister had agreed to be the guest of honour at the launch of a book on him, he could not sleep. Lin Tzu Ping thinks of himself as an ordinary man, even though he has achieved extraordinary things. He has been called many things, but in this book, I call him a patriotic artist. From his earliest works of the Singapore River, Chinatown, to his tropical trees, and today, his colorful abstracts, they were and are all scenes and visions of the country he loves. When he has difficulty sleeping, that's when he's seeking and resolving how to improve, even at the age of 100. He inspires me because he's the definition of lifelong learning. On his 100th birthday, I asked him, what's your wish? Give me a few more years, he said. I can achieve even more for Singapore. I thank the Prime Minister for making time this afternoon and for making a 100-year-old man very happy, Prime Minister. Mr. Lin Tzu Ping, Mr. Wun Tai Ho, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon to everybody and I'd like to say how delighted I am to join you all for the book launch and exhibition of Soul of Ink, Lin Tzu Ping at 100. Today we honour the remarkable accomplishments of Mr. Lin Tzu Ping, one of Singapore's most accomplished artists. Let me start with a few words in Mandarin. 
。今天能够为我国书画家林子平先生祝寿，这是我的荣幸。林先生体现了“活到老，学到老”的精神，到了百岁还继续寻求创新、突破自己，他的坚持令人钦佩。年到百岁，松清鹤唱。在此祝林先生福寿康宁，万寿无疆。Mr. Lim's journey as an artist has been a long and fruitful one. He developed an interest in the arts early in his youth, before the war. He taught himself painting and calligraphy, and honed his talents. As a student in Zhongzheng High School, after graduation, he became a teacher at Xinmin School and subsequently, subsequently the principal of Xinmin School in the 1950s. For over 30 years, he looked after the welfare of his students and made sure they received a good education. In his free time, he relentlessly pursued his passion for art. His field trips in the 60s and 70s around Southeast Asia, with other Nanyang school artists, helped to inspire and shape his artistic identity. In 1977, he exhibited a work at the Commonwealth Art Exhibition in England. His entry was initially rejected by the local selection committee for being neither Eastern nor Western, but it was eventually accepted and unexpectedly. Won the special prize. It was the only Singaporean work to win a prize at that competition. This success spurred Mr. Lim on. Mr. Ping only became a full-time artist in 1981, at the age of 60, after retiring as a school principal. More than 20 years later, he was awarded the Cultural Medallion, and later still, the Meritorious Service Medal. For his contributions to the arts, at age 100, he is still going strong, breaking new ground, and relentlessly improving his craft. He has joined the select group of internationally acclaimed artists who remain active as centenarians. In 2014, I opened the Lim Ziping Art Gallery at Zhongzheng High School. Mr. Lim's alma mater had set up the gallery to house over 100 of his best works that he had donated. These masterpieces now inspire the students and future generations of artists. So when Tai Ho invited me to launch Soul of Ink, Lim Ziping at 100, his book about Mr. Lim's life story and works, I was deeply honoured to accept. The book captures the spirit of Mr. Lim's art, from his streetscapes, streetscapes and kampong scenes in our early nation-building years, to his iconic paintings of Chinatown and the Singapore River through the decades. They offer a vivid glimpse of the colour of everyday lives in Singapore, still within living memory, but fading into the past year by year. His life's work captures the atmosphere of the changing times as our country developed and urbanized. It opens a window into our nation's soul, while enriching our heritage and helping to form an emerging national cultural identity. This is exactly what art can do: to link generations past, present, and future. To express our creative responses to our circumstances, and articulate our dreams and aspirations, and at the same time to remind us that our future paths are our own to blaze. Just like how Mr. Lim pioneered his own path, his works were undeniably rooted in Chinese art, from the materials to the style of the painting and writing. But the spirit of his art is neither Eastern nor Western; it's Singaporean. Mr. Lim has inspired new generations of local artists, 
each with their own unique styles, but all distinctively Singaporean. Piece by piece, each new artwork contributes to our collective identity, our sense of national identity and pride. As Mr Lim said, everybody contributes differently. I am born for art and my contribution is in art. You can live to 200 years, but it will be a short life if you haven't made a meaningful contribution. Mr Lim, thank you for your contribution to Singapore. In a few months' time, the National Arts Council will open the Cultural Medallion Gallery right here at the Arts House. It will celebrate and honour our cultural medallion recipients like Mr Lim. It will showcase their artistic excellence and contributions across various art forms, from the visual and literary arts to music, theatre and dance, that have left an indelible imprint on our cultural landscape. These cultural icons and role models we call our own. They will continue to inspire new generations of local artists and performers. Last but not least, let me congratulate Tai Ho on successfully putting together today's first the book and today's book launch and exhibition. We need passionate individuals like him. Their efforts in nurturing the arts, supporting our local artists, writing about them, and promoting awareness and appreciation of their achievements are just as important in keeping the arts vibrant and growing in Singapore. Thank you all once again and wish everyone a very happy and memorable evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prime Minister. It gives me immense pleasure to now invite Mr Lim Tzu Ping to address us. Mr. Lim. <咳>尊敬的李显龙总理<咳> 非常感谢总理在百忙中抽空来为我的新书发布会和画展来开幕来支持<咳> 非常的光荣 <咳>我能够得到总理的称赞此外呢
。那诸位云大慈先生、刘世宇先生和蔡荣义先生的帮助。感谢他们付出的和努力，能够通过艺术来为新加坡争光，这是我的荣幸。艺术也是国家和社会发展的重要的一环，希望新加坡能大力来推动国家的各种比赛。让更多热爱艺术的下一代有更好发展的平台。我希望新加坡的未来可以出现更多的优秀艺优秀的艺术家。我我愿意。我也计划把我的一些好的、优秀的艺术作品来捐献给国家和社会，希望让更多的新加坡人看到我这些作品，也希望。让新加坡以外的国家。和人民看到这些作品，我虽然是很高龄，但是我觉得，啊，这个，我觉得这个时间呢、啊、很少，我觉得时间比金钱比金钱更重要。呃，最后呢，我要感谢上帝赐给我的天赋，我会继续的努力。谢谢大家。Thank, thank you so much, Mr. Lim. Mr. Lim would now like to present a copy of his book to Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong. May I please invite the Prime Minister to join Mr. Lim? As a token of Mr. Lim's appreciation to the Prime Minister, as a token of Mr. Lim's appreciation to the Prime Minister for gracing this occasion, he would like to present the Prime Minister with a gift of calligraphy. You may have noticed the calligraphy with the word "I" hanging at the back of the room. Mr. Lim Serfing wrote this "I" a few weeks ago as his gift to the Prime Minister. The artist often speaks about his love for Singapore, love for his country, and so his special gift to the Prime Minister. Just one word, "I." Thank you, Mr. Lim, for this beautiful gift. I would now like to invite the Prime Minister and Mr. Lim for a photo. May I call upon Mr. Wun Tai Ho, Ms. Rosa Daniel, CEO of the National Arts Council, Mr. Wilson Tan, Chairman of the Arts House, and Mr. Max Poir, Managing Director of World Scientific, to join the Prime Minister and Mr. Lim for the photo taking.
May I ask the Prime Minister, Mr. Lim and Mr. Woon to remain in their positions and request for the others to return to their seats. I now invite Mr. Lim Soo Kok, son of Mr. Lim Soo Ping, and Mr. Chua Eng Lee, a close family friend, for a photo with the Prime Minister and Mr. Lim. May I invite the Prime Minister and Mr. Lim to now tour the exhibition in the gallery. The tour will be led by curator Lo Zoe. Prime Minister, if you please. Ah. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Lim. For our guests watching online, thank you for joining us. We have come to the end of the live stream portion of the event. We invite you to visit the exhibition at the Arts House, which will be on 30th June, which will be on until 30th June. For our guests here with us at the Arts House, we invite you to view the exhibition once the VIP tour ends. In the meanwhile, please remain in the Blue Room. Thank you for your kind cooperation.